wow these guys are they really mean business wow we are we learned that ethiopian carrier reduces lagos to london ticket from 1.9 million naira to 680,000. a case study on apis so what changed overnight they changed their price and reduced their price well uh, meanwhile capitalism is often criticized as an outdated approach to business business and economic growth in the modern world the truth is that private persons or capitalists have taken control of the modern economy because the government does not do enough to regulate and oversee it with government officials owning up to 50 percent more shares in the enterprises how can they possibly police these capitalists poverty and a decline in purchasing power have been worsened by a monopolistic attitude to business consider the days when a sim card from mtn or any other provider would set you back a cool 35,000 naira nigerian cities back then mtn said that price could not go down and gave a laundry list of ridiculous reasons why the, then globalcom more commonly known as glue entered the market and all of a sudden sim cards were supplied for free or sold at a discount of 2000 naira so what transpired if the price dropped how much reduced prices are the result of increased competition what about nigeria cement industry dangote Bua elephant and the rest of the capitalists have persisted in taking nigerians hard earned money for the simple reason that they want to put a roof over their heads in the west people pay for government's own buildings with mortgages in nigeria though you are on your own for everything from utilities to landscaping we are still thinking about the Dangote versus Ibeto cement case. The necessity of preserving a monopoly drove Ibeto cement from the market. A black man is suing another black man in, in this instance. Let us return to the topic of Nigeria's political climate and the aviation business. As I listen to APCEO Allen Oyema describe the insults and struggles he went through to secure the airline's permission to fly the london route i wept for my country nigeria shortly after the price dropped from 1.9 million naira to 1 million naira all of air pieces london tickets sold out and are fully booked until september 2024 air piece paved the way for competition in private in nigeria's aviation market with this move compared to air piece tickets one 0.08 million naira. Ethiopian Airlines fare to London is 400,000 naira cheaper at 680,000 naira. This is the ideal, ideal way a company to operate. In my humble view, to boost local business, I think Epis should cut down on flights from Lagos to London even further, bringing them in level with Ethiopian Airlines fare. It is my sincere hope that the well-off Nigerians who have been richly blessed by God will put their money into the cement industry so that Dangote and other capitalists who have kept the masses impoverished can lose some of their monopoly power. Conversely, the public sector should do its part to make the private sector flourish. You know, some people are saying, eh, APC is uh, talking too much. APC is this, is that that he started the war price so he should continue with it uh meanwhile this dangote of 18 as i was just going through this there's something just came to mind that you can imagine the dangote and some of uh, maybe two a uh, few of them that are having that monopolistic power why is it that within our system there's something happening which of course a lot of people have been saying but i'm beginning to really understand it better that is a deliberate act for these few people who are into cement to be kept as a, a, to have this a monopolistic power, it is not just for anything. And one day, somebody, I think last month, somebody was saying that, uh, oh, the reason why they should not give other people the opportunity to go into the cement uh, industry is because they might be having a substandard, so you know, it will not be regulated. And I, and I say, wow.
can you just imagine somebody's reasoning in that regard so it's a deliberate act so somebody who is saying eh, 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 this man caused a price war and then we might cause the cause the price war that is now that international uh airlines are now reducing their fare so why is it that it's not happening in nigeria well we know where those uh, the angle that those people who are speaking the angle they are speaking from Airpiece remains our hero. The airline built Nigerians out of the wicked Western Kabas chain of Nigerian travelers. Please support Airpiece by patronizing them. I will. I will as well. It is the only way to help them out of the gang up. Thanks to the flagship carrier Airpiece, Ego Man and his airline have saved fortune for Nigerian travelers. The same ungrateful Nigerian will say an Igbo person cannot be trusted to rule Nigeria. Uh, don't mind them. They will be say they trust themselves. You see, the the see on we won't finish them. How developed are they? How improved are they? How progressive are they? Yes, so the government should be bold enough to license more firms in production and importing quality cement in order to break Dangote's long term monopoly. The issue of cement will never be resolved unless the government becomes a non interested part partners in the cement business the fall of price from other airlines is due to the naira increase to dollar i sincerely hope this increase to dollar will affect the prices of goods and services say <laughs> who told you you need more information if after reading this article yes so article no money uh, i disagree with you on this issue one you lack insight into what is happening try to get some fat before you say anything our government is corrupt and irresponsible otherwise this should have been an eye opener are they not part of the rust so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this thank you